Something smells exquisite. Is it? Let my bow do the talking. Would you believe it? Colony relations change, looks like. Ready or not? Looks like we can go on from here.
I'm sorry. I can't go easy on you. Right, good job, Uni. I try to my to surrender before we go into death. Drink! Amazing! Like water off a of Flammy's back. Would you believe it? Colony relations changed, looks like.
What are these monsters doing here? What's going on? Why, little Junebug? You're late. <gasps> Consul. You know I can't abide tardiness. <sighs> Too much fun and games, is it? Ha! Life is not a bed of roses, my dear. You must be aware of that, surely. What are you after? My, my. Why so sour, my little Uro berries? I haven't the slightest inclination to involve myself in a fracker with you. Oh, yeah? Then what are you doing here? Dear, I am positively quaking, quaking in my boots. I am here to see my little June bug, nothing more. And you expect us to believe that? Mm. You may set your hearts aflutter with whatever feelings you desire, for all I care. If I must confide in you a detail, I would like you to know that it was I who dealt those monsters a swift demise. You? I can confirm that. If it weren't for the console, we might not even be standing here. <sighs> Spark. If only I hadn't screwed up. You're injured. Yeah. My fault. I got cocky. Monsters got a free swipe in. You may find it hard to believe, but I'm quite the assiduous type. I've been keeping a close watch on my fruitlings. But now that little June bug has returned, there is yet more work to be done. You're not angry about the flame top. Angry? You were the ones who broke it. You aren't going to apologize, are you? Besides, I've been aware of the circumstances for a while now. It has to be said, it's a delicate topic. Delicate? Yes, delicate. Do your ears need rinsing, Poppet? I don't know if you're aware, but the people of Tao themselves chose to break the clock. It's hardly my place to complain. I happen to be quite the individualist, <laughs> don't you know? You're not making a lick of sense. Now, Junebug, be a sweet pea and go on ahead, will you? Don't worry. I'll be fine. Uh, Noah, we're just letting Juniper go? Juniper said not to worry, so let's not worry. That's the spirit. Perhaps you and I will be able to see eye to eye after all. Oh, one thing. I have a job for you, Uro Berries, if you would be so kind. A job? For us? For you, I'd like you to procure some twine turf. For me. Yeah? What are you using it for? Someone's got to remove those nuisances for new life to settle in. But preparations will need to be in place if we are to dispose of them. Which is where the twine turf comes in. Twine turf? I think I saw some of that in Yellow Grove. Well, look at that. <laughs> How fortuitous. That's a mere stone's throw from here. Well. It's not far. That's true. See? It wouldn't kill you to fetch some. I know what you're thinking. But these things really are going to be a problem for us otherwise, so... We'd really appreciate the help. No, I understand. Let's go then.
Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. Glad we found it. You think this'll do? Don't see why not. I wonder how the console's going to use this stuff to get rid of the monsters. I haven't a clue. Everyone! Juniper, are you all right? Yes. And the colony is unharmed, thank goodness. Hey, Juniper, has your console always been like that? The console? Mm, I don't really recall. You said she pretty much left you to it, right? That's correct. The console rarely ever visits us. We've met a couple of times, but I barely have any recollection of us talking. So why on Ionios would she start involving herself now? I say we get this job done and then we give her a piece of our mind. I mean, I don't really sense any hostility from it. Maybe it's fine. But you have to admit, she's got a way of getting on your nerves, right? Still, she is a consul. If we underestimate her, we'll no doubt be in for a world of pain. Noted. But even if we do have to fight, it'd have to be outside of the colony. Yeah. We don't know what she might be planning to do with the people of Colony Tau. We should try to head back soon. I'll report into the Consul. Is that enough for you? Wonderful, my dear Ouroberries. Quite the speedy little workers, aren't you? So? How are you going to use the stuff? We're going to make it into a pulp and throw it into a bonfire. I hear it has the most fragrant aroma. No doubt the creatures will be drawn straight to it. A little assistance wouldn't go amiss. You! Huh? Ah, uh, uh, yes! Pfft. What a farce! They're drawn to the scent, are they? What is it, Tyon? You picked up on something? Um, not exactly. Oh, what is this? Oh, I do so hate the forest. What with all the bugs? Um, right. Well, they do say that bugs hate smoke. You know the type of insect I hate the most? The creepy, crawly kind. Oh, ghastly things. How about you? Me? I've seen them all before. Can't say they bother me. Oh. Such a tedious little corner of Ionios. Nothing much ever happens around here, does it? No, not really. I'm kind of used to it by now, though. Well, of course you would be. State the obvious. Why don't you? Oh, right. Sorry, ma'am. Now throw in the plants I gave you, and we should be all set for the preparatory phase. You know, I thought I might witness a little of that Ouroberry magic for myself. The smoke rising from the bonfire acts like a signal flare to indicate the start of battle. Yeah? What's that got to do with... Crap! They're 
brought back! Again! What? Looks like you've got your work cut out for you. Oh, yes. You had better live your lives to their very fullest. What? These monsters! Don't ask me! They just showed up out of the blue and started heading this way! These monsters aren't from the forest. Why would they have come in so far? I have my hunches. No point guessing right now. Let's send these guys packing! appropriate tactic in this situation is fight first, wine later, mate. Yeah, I know, man. Makes me feel better, though. <sighs> My dear, sweet little Junebug. I'll tell you what I'm trying to accomplish here. I want to see Colony Tau performing to the very best of their ability. What? I want them to wallow in regret, to agonize, tremble, suffer, rise, convulse, and then die. You see, the look on their faces at that moment is the most delectable thing in the world to me. Consul, I don't understand. All that you are distilled at the cusp of death to a perfect fraction of unbearable humiliation. However, teetering there on the edge of oblivion is also the moment in which you shine the brightest. The terror of death flickering in your minds, fighting madly in the hope that you still might live. A newborn babe could never hope to match that expression of horror. Only the march of time can crystallize those grimaces of wrath and agony. Aged to perfection, like a fine wine. <sighs> They're coming our way, too! Huh, never a dull moment around here. Come now, Junebug. Chin up. I want to see you at the peak of your brilliance. I can't savor your emotions if you don't ripen to your fullest now, can I? monsters as before. It's doable. Keep pushing them back. We'll try. Oro berries are a force to be reckoned with, aren't they? I hadn't factored them in, but I did get a taste of fear and despair. And for that, I'm truly grateful. You must have felt that sweet relief when they broke the flame clock. How does it feel to have all that taken away from you? You'd better pick up the pace, or my little monsters will flock to you like a free meal. It's smoke. Put out the fire. Stop the smoke.
Oh. <laughs> I think it's a little late for that. I had my doubts, but I never thought you were so brazen as to do this openly. When you crush and burn those plants, they make the most irresistible aroma for monsters. So you lied about getting rid of them? I said that nuisances had to be removed. Who said anything about monsters? I was hoping to remove everyone, save little Junebug here, and make way for new growth in the forest. You don't have to spout a load of shite, you know that. I was hoping to see them savaged by hungry beasts, but... Oh, well. Your efforts have managed to ruin a perfectly good tragedy. Again. Again? Did I not mention? Not a few days ago, I recall that you intervened. I was hoping to cull some fruitlings before their homecoming. Ah, the monsters from before. Yes, that's it. That's the way. It's the monsters that you encountered on that fateful day. The very same. Yes, I led them there myself. If they had feasted on your husks, I could have thrown them into the colony and given you such a fright. Why? Why would you think of doing such an awful thing? I took you to be smarter than this, Junebug. Be a dear and fire up those synapses for me. Colony Tower was ready to accept their fate. I settled on the monsters as the best way to deal with that. I thought perhaps if you were to see your friends torn apart before your very eyes, it might give you the, the stimulus you need. You're beyond help. When the flame clock was destroyed and you were given the chance to live, you also came to fear death and gained the ability to suffer as you are doing right now. You've done well, my little Uro Berries. Yes, indeed. The look on your faces is not something so easily reproduced. Ah, how long I've waited just to see those contortions. The perfect moment. Once matured, then savored. I'll not let you die easily. I shall see to that. You consoles are all the same, aren't you? How can you toy with people's lives like this? You think this is fun? Oh, I just love teasing my favorite playthings. Is that really so difficult to understand? Well, it's been lovely talking to you, but I'm afraid time's getting on. If you despise me so much, slay my little pet and try taking me on yourselves. defeated them? All of them? Well, you're nothing if not tenacious. If you stay away from our colony without interfering, just as you always have, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. Without interfering? You really are a model child, aren't you? I told you, I consider myself the assiduous type. Why do you think that so few make it to homecoming in this pit that none know about or care about? Why do you think there are few threats to your colony, yet your flame clock teeters on the brink of collapse? I... well... 
Let me explain it to you in simple terms that even you will be able to understand. I made it that way. It was by my design. What? You really are the lowest of the low! I had the soldiers die when approaching their final term. I conceived your peculiar traditions, and I sent monsters to you. And when your numbers were culled just enough to maintain the colony, I sent you new recruits. When you lacked a source of life with which to fill the clock, I placed monsters of adequate strength for your sucker. And it has all been for this moment. Ah, oh, the length I went to just for today. I cannot begin to understand you. Countless hours of painstaking effort went into this. But I am so very glad to have met a soul like yourself, little Junebug. Even your rage brings me delight. The fact that you want to kill me where I stand, even more rapturous. I shall contort your face into an expression of pure agony. I shall tear down all that you are! The people of Colony Tower have been fighting just to survive day to day. We won't allow you to have your way anymore. This ends here. Yes. Yes, I suppose you're right. My actions are unforgivable. Come then, do your worst. If you don't kill me now... You'll have to watch as I slaughter your precious colony Tau before your very eyes! you. Oh, yes. Now that right there is the face I wanted to see. I'm afraid. I won't be dying here alone. I'm going to kill off all your dear sweet friends one by one. You will remember exactly how they died. And you will regret it every waking moment. Crashing your own ineptitude, wishing you'd done more. Avenged though they were, aimless anger will consume you. How very exquisite the look on your face will be then. She's lost the plot, big time. This was our victory. You don't need to listen to this. Colony Tau. What about them? 
We made a promise that we'd survive. And so, the console's twisted games are something I cannot entertain. <gasps> ah. June Buck. So you really can make a face like that too. And now I must wonder, did I do the right thing in the end? I think that that's what life is all about. Searching to find that answer. Yes, how true. Thanks, yet again. Feels like you're always saving our bacon. Now, none of that. We're all mates now, remember? Yeah, Lance is right. We're all in this together. <sighs> Juniper, what's wrong? Life is cruel, isn't it? Just when I stopped waiting for death and began to live for myself, why must it be so hard? It's just as the Consul said, expecting death would have been so much easier. You're not wrong. It's not easy. And it never will be. Sure, but it's still a sight better than doing sparkle and giving up. That's also true. You're right. Life is a struggle, but I think I'd like to go on fighting for a little while longer at least. Nah, you've got to dream bigger. Fight until the bitter end! <laughs> Perhaps I should. Even without a console, our goal remains the same. That's right. And we've got to start by harvesting the crops. Right, yes. We have our hands full as it is trying to look after ourselves right now. Sure. Well, if you ever find yourself having a hard time, we'll be there to help. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, and see you soon.